keeping your bow straight and working on long tones and you know I would shed in front of the mirror to make sure my bow didn't go like this like that girl in LA said it was doing um, um, getting clean stops and starts and practicing scales with no vibrato um, so I could really hello you know because you know if you go uh that could be any number that, of notes. That, right? could, that could be F, to, that's F to G. Yeah. You know, so the mind says, well, it must be F sharp. You know, but you know. And, and I, I do a lot of checking, you know, like. Using exactly. Yeah. So if it's like. Things like that. So uh, I was always intonation. I, contrary to what you hear on the recordings, it's actually very important to me. So um, I, I uh, there's nothing more uh, cringing than you know hearing uh, a wrong note or an out of tune note that doesn't get corrected. Right. You know, um, sometimes when you, you hear. Uh, Somebody might go, uh, oh, oh, and the other thing is this, it's easier to get away with it when you're playing pizzicato, you know, so you're like. Like to that, to the ear, you know, sounds fine. Now, now I purposely try to play that little flat. So now if I play an arco, If I keep my finger there and I go. Slightly flat. You won't get a gig just in a symphony that. doing fix that. that. Just don't let it yeah, happen. exactly. Yeah. yeah, so that's my thing. It's like if you hear that's this flat, fix it. You know? So the next time you play it, you'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> 